Here are a couple of fun exercises that are just pentatonic fingering based things. Uh, one of the things I like to do uh, when I'm playing a pentatonic pattern, like let's say I'm in D minor, I can do, uh, I can use my middle finger like that. I use it right next to my ring finger. It's easier than trying to do that sometimes. So I can do that little technique. So I have this one particular pattern that's really easy to repeat. It's very uh, easy on the, le on the left hand, not a lot of energy required. Uh, so it's always nice to discover stuff that's, you know, uh, doesn't require a lot of energy for the left hand. So uh, I'll just do it in three parts. It goes like that. Next part is kind of a bit of a sweep with the right hand going up strokes from the G string, the D string, and the, and the A string. So, and then there's two extra notes at the end, just there on the D string. So the whole thing is, and together, and a little bit faster. And you can take the pattern up to different parts of the scale if you want to go on some different strings, like if I start on the, on the top string. A little bit different fingering, but the same, the same pattern. So that's one. The other exercise that I like to do, uh, uh, I find that I really need a lot of exercise to separate the ring finger from the pinky, because those two fingers really want to move together a lot. So this pattern uh, really, really helps strengthen the division between those two fingers, and it goes like this. So. It's actually kind of like the old white snake riff. But it's just a uh, ring, pinky, index finger. You can do it on different strings. When I first kind of found this pattern, it was really hard to get the, the, the pinky and the ring finger to, to separate that well, and, and it took a lot of work just to be able to do that, so if it doesn't, you know, if it's not easy at first, just keep trying, because it does take a lot of work to get those two fingers to really work together separately, rather. Um, so those are two fun exercises.